Another update on the dreadnought. Uh, a couple good things happened, a couple bad things. Over here, this is version one of the saucer dome, and uh, there were striations in there, and I had to redo it. It was a good version one. Unfortunately, the jig I made to turn this, uh, it looks like I threw it out when I was cleaning up a bunch of stuff, so I had to cut a new one. So when I was spinning the second version, uh, that jig broke on me, and I wound up with the mess I have here, which is pretty bad. So it looks like I'll be going to version 3 for this. Uh, this shape itself is not quite good enough, otherwise I could work from that. This one was correct until the jig broke, and that ruined that experiment. This is Sculpey, and one thing I'll mention about that is a big safety warning. So this is Sculpey Clay Softener, and on the bottle, when you could read it, it's said to uh, not get in touch with your skin, all that kind of general safety warnings. And actually what happens with this stuff is it's such a crazy chemical that it will cause a chemical burn. So you wash your hands thoroughly, and my big mistake was getting some of it under a fingernail and it took about a week for that burn to stop and that was uh, pretty painful that was essentially the same as I don't know a razor blade cut right along your fingernail or a really nasty paper cut under your fingernail if you can imagine that so yeah that was a full week to uh, heal up and it's just getting to the point where it doesn't hurt anymore but I can still feel some stuff going on nine days later so be careful with that stuff if you ever get it, definitely, and uh, as always, anytime you're dealing with anything that says safety warnings, follow them. Uh, next up, I spent maybe half an hour creating the secondary hull. This is modeling clay. It'll never dry, can't bake it, so it's always malleable, which is a good and bad thing. So this is about half an hour of shaping the surface there. Obviously there's still some lumps and uh, unevenness in there. But for the effort, it definitely worked out. This is the shape we're going for. And uh, this is going to work really well. Obviously you can see I didn't put any nacelle holes in there and I'm debating what to do about that now. I may slice out that section, place the pylons in which are right there and then reform the clay around it I may try and just shove one in straight into the clay deforming everything around the surface there we'll see about that but what I'm going to do before anything is get a vacuform of this and see how that goes and see how it looks I'm thinking what I really need to do is make a resin casting of this and start working that as the new master but uh, we'll see about that, because basically every time you handle this, it shapes somewhere, misshapes elsewhere. So, you know, if I've gotten one quarter of it in a really nice condition, spin it around to work on another quarter, and then that first quarter gets a little misshapen, and it goes on from there. But yeah, so uh, that's definitely some good progress, and when I get the back form of that, I'll show you what's built so far for the ship and we'll go from there. So I guess that's about it. Take care and I'll catch you all later. See you.